If you guys don't already know this, I'm starting a production company where we film mini segments for commercials or for whatever YouTube videos. So when I was asked to partner up with Squarespace, the answer was obvious. And so this video is brought to you by Squarespace. I needed a website where my clients can find our work and our contact info. We were going to settle on Super Mega Chunk, but that turned out to be a terrible name and we ended up with the name APM Creative. The way Squarespace works is really smooth. You pick out a layout for what works best, whether that's for building your online business, having a bigger online presence with the blog, or showcasing your portfolio of projects. They've got a layout for it. They've got marketing tools, they've got analytics, you name it. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial today. If you're serial about purchasing a website or a domain, go to squarespace.com slash ojgaming to save 10% off your purchase today. And it supports the channel. Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone, it's OJ. Today we're 12-0 again, I know, I know. We're 12-0 in the challenge, undefeated. Let's open up this up really quick. We're on my mini account, and we're going to be getting 15 wins again to flex on the haters and with the new emote. That's one of my favorite emotes. Purple is my favorite color. This wasn't planned, this was a coincidence, 100%. This is draft mode, so anything goes. Ah, he's Golem or regular Golem, they're both good. I'm gonna go for the Goblins. I said regular Golem, whatever. Executioner's really good, so is the Witch. I'm gonna go for the Witch, just because she's newer. We're gonna give her some love. Always go for fly- uh, I said always go for flying. Musketeer is just as good, that's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna take the log, so he can't log my Goblins. I kinda like the log over arrows anyways. Oh my goodness. He's going full in. The Goblin Giant's just gonna be just enough to pull those Barbarians. And look at those skellies. That's beauty. I'm going in for that witch. Witch has to support. This is this is an 11 elixir push. Don't commit this early. It's working. It worked. The rushing only works 50% of the time. Don't do it. Oh my goodness. He's going in for a lava hunt in the other lane. You know what that calls for. We're doing an elixir golem. He's going to have flying machine though. So we got to be careful for that. I might... Ha! That works out perfect. He's gonna have a massive push, by the way. This is gonna be super scary. I'm gonna have to go for my witch. She's gonna have to start trickling her skeletons. Can we stop that barbarian log? Battle ram thing? Pencil? Pencil? We're calling it a pencil. Nope. Alright, he had to log it. That's fine. I can deal with that. This is where he's gonna get a lot of elixir though. He hasn't beat my elixir. Oh my goodness. He's just letting it go ham on the left side. I just almost took out his tower. Holy moly. He's nuts. He's brave. And he's only up to elixir. How is he only up to elixir? I gave him an elixir golem for free. Holy. I'm gonna go for the musketeer because I want to cycle her. She's, I'm gonna have skeletons to be able to cycle that. Maybe we'll do skeletons kind of on the side there. Maybe we'll put down our witch because we don't have much anti-air. So we gotta be real careful about this. I do have the log though. We're gonna log those skeleton, those spear goblins, and that executioner. Nice. Nice. Huh. Nice. Perfect. We're going all in. Elixir golem. Giant skeleton. Arrows isn't gonna save ya. I was gonna put musketeer on the left side, but I don't want that musketeer targeting that lava hound, so we're just gonna go in. Everything goes in there. Executioner is not gonna be enough. Three crown victory, undefeated. That was beautiful. Now we're 13-0 in this challenge. Don't mind that X. That X means that I'm extremely good. <laughs> Let's get into the next one, 13-0. I'm gonna go with the regular goblins. I like those ones better. Goblin cage I prefer. I don't like spawners. That's a personal preference. There's no wrong choice in that one. I'm gonna have to take earthquake because I know he's gonna have a really annoying spawner. And always pick elixir golem if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, give it to them and hopefully they're gonna give you positive trades. It's gonna be super juicy. <laughs> Super mega juicy. Don't rush. Don't rush. I put a musketeer in the back. Oh, he's got goblins. I feel like I just want to ignore that. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. We'll, we'll split one gobby. Because I don't want to deal with all of it. Bum, bum, bum. Takes it all out. We earthquake that. Ooh, positive trades all day, every day. Musketeer doesn't get any hits, though. So here's what we do. Split two guards. Maybe have the goblin cage because he's got fire spirits and that's kind of deadly for them. I mean, I have a goblin brawler and we're gonna we're gonna tank. We're gonna use the elixir golem to tank the goblin brawler. This is a counter push, so I can afford to use the elixir golem. Ooh, I, I almost yep, I'm doing it. Just because those spear goblins are gonna deal work to my 
Elixir Golem, so I, I took him out with just like that. And now I don't have anything for the spawners, but we don't need anything for the spawners because we took out his tower, and that's all you need. Come on, take out the wizard, take out the wizard, take out the wizard. One hit. Nice. Nice. Ooh, he went in for the giant in the back. I'm going for the guards, and then I'm going to go for a goblin cage. Yep, he's got fire spirits. That's fine. The goblin cage is going to protect me from everything. Well, no, the guards are going to get taken out by... Oh, yeah, there's, there goes the guards. What's he putting behind there, though? Ooh. Don't use Elixir Golem to tank. Woo! I resisted the urge. It was worth it. Split the gobby gobbies. Roll recruits don't completely take them all out. That's good. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. My tower is still at full health. Pretty much. I'm going to rush in with a balloon. I can. I feel I can afford this. This is a Hail Mary move. I don't know why I'm doing it, but we're doing it anyways. And if I had the Earthquake, that would have been perfect for that. Let's do Musketeer on the right side so we can counter push. Elixir Golem still... One hit with the balloon! Whoop! That... That is beautiful. Musketeer is still going hot. We're doing two guards on the right side. No, we're doing three on the right side. Let's kind of tank all of that. There's so much going on. Goblin Brawl tanks these fire spirits. That's still at full health. Nope. Don't tank with Elixir Golem. Don't give him positive traits. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to rush in with the blue now. This is the final move. He's going to have a tower. I could have earthquaked it with. I could have earthquaked his goblin hut, but we didn't. Join Boggers United. Never mind, it's full. <laughs> Look at that. Level 8 elixir blob, blob, monster, golem, golemite, thingy. I do like the spirits. Spirits are always good in this challenge. Brings down the cost of everything. Inferno Dragon is good if you know they have tanks, but I don't quite know that. And Inferno Dragon versus Guards, not a good idea. Baby Dragon versus Guards, very good idea. Baby Dragon's one of the best picks. Always go for the Elixir Golem if you actually know how to play him really well. If you watch my tech video. <laughs> and so far, I don't have anything that he can fireball. So I'm going to give him the more expensive spell. At least I can zap his Inferno Dragon if I absolutely need to. I almost just want to rush my Dark Goblin there. We're going in. We're going in. We went in. That's, that's a thousand damage right there. It's a thousand damage. Actually, it wasn't a thousand damage. It was exactly this much. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Baby dragon. We're ready. F we're ready for that roll giant. We're so ready. Uh, is the lightning worth it? Yeah, to keep my baby dragon alive. It was kind of worth it. Okay, now I have nothing. Now I have nothing. Now I have nothing. I have guards. I don't have an elixir to deal with his guards. Oh shoot, he's got fireball. That tower is done. That tower is so done. It's so done. He has fireball and poison? Woo! Desperation miner. Let's go. What are you going to counter it with a rural giant? Ah, he's got zappies. That was, that was pretty decent. Pro tip for zappies, because they retarget, you can actually just put it on top of the miner, so then when it stuns, it targets the next zappies, instead of dealing damage to your tower. I think B-Rad taught me that. Oh, B-Rad. Subscribe to B-Rad. World's best miner player in the world, and one of the best Canadian players in the world. There aren't many of us. <laughs> I'm gonna zap, zappy zap that. Oh, he used fireball. Not too bad. He only has poison for my minion horde. Great. Ugh. Great. Fire Spirit. Is he going to ignore that, though? I mean, Ice Spirit. Is he going to ignore that? Ooh. I'm sorry. I, I, I got nothing for that. Those gobbies. They dealing, they're dealing damage. Okay. This is a Hail or Mary move. We're going in for everything. All of our eggs in this one basket. We got to zap those zappies. That was too much damage. Dark Gobby's still doing work. Wow. If I can... Yup. Freeze that. Buy my Elixir Golem some time. Yup. Oh, no, no. No way. Elixir Golem's targeting the tower. There's no way. Nobody beats OJ. I genuinely thought I was losing that game. 
It turns out he couldn't really handle my Elixir Golem by the end of it. And that's when you want to play the Elixir Golem is near the end so that when you do give them positive trades, you don't because the game is already over by then. Look at that. <laughs> Flex the new emotes. Easy peasy. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OJ.